Hello YouTube, it is God of Lightning 5 here again today, and this video I'm going to show you how to get widgets such as the calendar and the clock for your desktop. Now a lot of you have been asking me how I have gotten these, how I've gotten these add-ons and how to do this, so today I thought I would make a video on showing you how to do it. Now one thing we are going to need is an app, or it's going to go into your system preferences um, panel, and it's going to be in a thing called Geek Tool. Now, what Geek Tool allows you to do, I kind of refer it to terminal, you know, like terminal commands, like I can do the kill all doc terminal command, and, you know, it kills the dock and whatnot. But, um, to get these add-ons, you have something called scripts, or URLs for, like, images, and I'll get to that in a minute. But, I'm not going to get too into this, like, show you a bunch of add-ons, because I really don't want a lot, but I'll show you a website where you can get all sorts of, uh, commands and whatnot. And, yeah. But, right now, to get these add-ons, such as the calendar and shell, we want, I mean, the calendar and the clock. Um, we want to make it into a shell file. For images, it would be a PDF. It would be a image file, like a URL. So we'll go to shell right now, and we'll go into group. We'll go to shell, and I'll click on the clock. And this is the command for it. And I'm going to paste this into the description, so you won't have to go to the website for this. So, yeah, you want to go. I'll just copy it right now. And... Yeah, but that we would put into the command right there, which is the command for the date. And uh, you want to refresh this um, uh, date timing like every 60 seconds, because there are 60 seconds in a minute. You want to refresh it every 60 seconds. Here we can click on to uh, configure the font settings or the color, and I always do times. And since the thing always comes out like pretty small, the the font, like, it came out, like, I think 10. I put it at 48 to make it a little bit bigger. And, yeah, that's the basics of, um, using this thing for shell, like, for, uh, add-ons for the clock and the date. Um, you only want one group, so this is in the groups folder. Uh, here you want to go to, um, uh, show all to get rid of that thing. And then we'll go back to Geek Tool. And I'll click on the calendar right now. And the command is just called cal, C-A-L. And that I won't put in the description because you could just type that in there right now. And I can configure the position right here, 17 by 64, which is what I recommend. Uh, size 190 by 138. And yeah, I don't have a specific style or font for it because it's just calendar. And it does not refresh. I think it automatically reads um, the date. So, uh, yeah. So, right now, I'll just erase that for a minute. Alright, Cal. And there it is. It stays there. So, yeah, that's where you put the commands in there. For an image, on the other hand, you would go here and you'd... Well, actually, what you do with the shell to put the add-ons on your computer is you drag this onto your desktop and see, that's where I get like a whole new property uh, to put another command in here. But I'm going to X that out. See? It's that simple. You just have to drag the shell onto your desktop. And that's then the properties comes up. And then that's where you configure all your settings. So there's the command for the uh, date. So I won't. So that's going to be in the description. And the Geek Tool download will be in the description as well. Hope you liked the video. Um, I tried to go as thorough as possible with this tutorial, but I didn't want to get too into it because, you know, there's not many good add-ons in my opinion, but yeah, some of them are hard to use, but I just wanted to show you the calendar and the time since that's what people have been asking me for. So yeah, hope you liked this video and I'll be back some other time. See you later.